So 90s VJ Ananda Lewis, if those of you remember Ananda Lewis, she was one of the most famous, they call them VJs on uh, MTV a long while ago. And you know, a lot of brothers, you know, was crushing on Ananda Lewis back in that time period. Well, you know, she's a little older now, you know, and everything. And she's talking about how some of us were raised in our childhood. And I say, you know what, Ananda, come on now. Well, let's go ahead and review it. If as a child you were hit repeatedly with this. I was hit with that. Oh, yes, I was hit with that. And you know what? I deserved every bit of it. I can tell you today as a man, I deserved it. Not one time did they put a bruise on me. Not one time did they make me bleed or anything because I was truly disciplined. But let's continue this, this. Oh man, shoot that, that slipper back there. Now I wasn't here with the slipper, but, but you know what? My grandmother and those of you remember these shoes, my grandma had them Daniel greens. Those of you who know what them Daniel greens are, man, you don't want to get hit with them Daniel greens. I got hit with that too. The Daniel greens. Now the extension cord thing she's showing right now, I was never hit with that. Because it, 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 in my household, like it's, that's going too far, an extension card. I always said it was going too far. And I know my cousin, my, my, you know, may she, my nanny Rose, may she rest in peace. She was like my nanny slash, you know, auntie, you know, a godmother. We'll call it, it was called a nanny Rose, right? Now she, she got my cousin a few times with that, that extension card, but I never got that. So yeah, that was kind of going too far, at least for us, but yeah. This or this. Oh, I got the switch. Oh, I got the switch. That's what we would call it the switch. You act up, they were like, hey, Phil. Or at least at that time period, Lil Phil. Because that's what they would call me growing up, Lil Phil, because of course my dad, they would call me Lil Phil. Lil Phil, go outside and pick a switch off that tree. Because you're acting up. And you better not let me go out there and pick it. Because you know good and well, if they pick it, they're going to pick the, the worst one ever. So you had to learn to pick your switch to a science. <laughs> <laughs> it was a science. You didn't want one that was too big. Okay. Cause that'll hurt. You didn't want one that was too thin and too elastic. -y. You didn't want that because those sting more. So you had to figure out to pick one. that was kind of like right in the middle, because if you get a right one in the middle, it won't, it's still going to be, it's still going to hurt, but it won't be as bad as the two extremes, right? So you see, I, mean, I go out there, I'm like six, seven years old. I'm looking up at the tree like, man, which one I'm going to get? Hurry up out there. Up get that switch. So dog, you know, go ahead and rid the switch and man, get my butt toe up. <laughs> but you know what? Let me continue this video and I, I can t I add to this story. Then you were abused and maybe they didn't know better, but we do. So let's break this generational curse. For once and for all, your kids and your inner child will thank you. All right, Ananda. Ananda said that we were abused. I wasn't abused. I don't categorize anything that I, you know, got as a child in the eighties and nineties as abuse. No, actually my friends who didn't get any of that. And you look today, these millennials, these Gen Z's, they didn't get any of that. Look at how they're acting today. You didn't touch them. You didn't do anything to them. Look how they act in the day. But see, this is what I don't understand. You want to say all that is harming us or abusing us, but look what the police do. The police is worse. I ain't never had a parent do what happened to George Floyd. I never seen a parent beat people down like riding the King. Like the police can do all that beating, the body slamming, shooting and everything else. Y'all cool with that. But a parent can't discipline their kid. And if they do, they go to jail. Matter of fact, I remember when that stuff was starting to come in and like toward the late nineties, mid to late nineties, if your parent uh, hit you with a bill, let us know. And, and there's child abuse. I mean, I remember that when that came in and, and when the moment that came in and I have to say this cause it's the truth. When the Democrats pushed that mess in the schools and that came in, that's when the kids start going to hell in a handbasket from that point on. Now you look at it today, kids ain't got no respect. Listen, 
You would never back in the day see a child cussing. You would never back in the day see a child talking back to a parent. You would never see that. None of that at all. But see, when they took away the parents' ability to discipline their children and got people like Ananda here saying, oh, we this all this stuff happened to us, I haven't heard nothing bad that, about Ananda at all. I haven't heard Ananda going to jail. I haven't heard her in a drug binge. I haven't heard her in no scandals at all. Not one time. Maybe Ananda is because what happened to you as a child, because your parents actually love you. Cause you know, you chastise those you love. Maybe Ananda, because you got some of that is why you never got any kind of trouble because I know all my friends that never got any of that. A lot of them went and got in gangs, sold drugs, went to jail or ended up dead. All of them, all of them. They had no respect for their parents. They had no respect for society. And then when the police show up, they're not teaching you no respect. They're trying to take you out of here one way or another, either putting you in jail or putting you six feet under. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to let the police raise our kids. You already know, especially if you're a black kid, you already know what's going to happen to you. So nah, Nanda, I, I can't, I can't agree with that sis. All I'm going to say is, you know, everything going to hell in the hand basket and it starts with the kids. That's why I like when I go outside the country, cause see outside the country throughout the world, uh, parents in African countries, Latin American countries, Asian countries, Arab countries, parents run their house and parents make sure the kids are in line. And that's why a lot of times those kids, they have a better, you know, way of being. But in places like America, when you, when kids are just allowed to run wild and parents to go to jail and parents go to jail for any little thing, this is why you got a crazy society like you have today. Well, y'all let me know what y'all think about what Ananda says, um, especially those of you who grew up in the eighties and nineties and, and versus what you see today. Let me know what you think about what these kids all day versus what we had, you know, dealt with growing up.